To look up data in Excel, you can use lookup function. The example worksheet has details of discount given by a store based on purchase amount. If purchase amount is greater than or equal to $100, customer get 2%. And if it is greater than $200, $500, and $1,000, different discount percent are set up. If the store cashier wants to know the discount based on the purchase amount, instead of checking manually, the person can enter purchase amount in cell D7, and in cell D8, discount person can be displayed based on the purchase amount by using lookup function. Click on cell D8. In the formula bar, type equal to lookup, the function lookup, within parenthesis, lookup function accepts up to three arguments. The first argument is the lookup value, which is going to be the cell D7, where the purchase, purchase amount is going to be entered. The second argument is the range where the purchase amount can be found, which is F7 colon F10. Comma, the third argument is the uh, range where the discount percent can be found, which is in this example G7 colon G10. The lookup function search data in the range given as second argument for the exact match. If not found, then it checks if the value found is largest value, which is less than the value being looked up. Keep in mind the data in the range should be in ascending order. Hit enter. Excel returns error because there is no value in cell D7. Enter value 110. Then Excel returns the discount as 2% as Excel found 100 in the range of data which is closest and less than 110. The corresponding discount from the range in third argument is 2%. Enter value as 550. Excel returns 4% because it finds 500 as closest and less than 550. The corresponding discount is 4%. Enter value 500. Excel returns 4% because it's exact match and corresponding discount is 4%. If you enter a value as 90, then Excel returns error because it doesn't find an exact match or a value in the range which is closest to 90 and less than 90. Instead of giving the third argument, you can also make the second argument as an array to include both purchase amount range and discount percent range. Change the second argument as the range F7 to G10 so that it includes both purchase, or purchase amount and the uh, discount percent and remove the third argument. Hit enter. Now if you try the values 110, 510, and 200 all will return the corresponding discount percentage as before. 